Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to cover the topic of the range tool and some of the things it can do. The range tool can basically select a range of your track or stem and you can manipulate that in a couple of different ways and which I'm hoping to show you. So the first thing you want to do is select your range tool. You can either do uh, select it up here or press two on the keyboard or hold press and hold the right uh, click of the mouse and get it like that. So then the first function is basically you can just draw a selection and on the surface that's just kind of highlighted a certain area but we'll manipulate that as we go on. So say for instance you wanted to capture this whole stem or piece of audio here uh, basically just press and hold the shift button and just double click that whole stem and you see it automatically ranged the whole thing you can also then range several tracks at the same time by pressing and holding the control button and clicking on the tracks you would like and wouldn't like like that. So once we've got our range selected that we wanted we can then make some adjustments to the size of it. So there's several different ways of doing this. The first and most easiest is to if you see the arrow just changing like that it's just to get that and just literally drag and change it with your mouse and you get that on both sides so you can do that. You can also hold shift and click anywhere you want outside of the range or inside of the range. No, just outside. And it will encompass where you're clicking. So all I'm doing is just pressing and holding the shift button. And it's making uh, it's selecting my range. You can also adjust it on your info line up here. I like to just do it like that if I'm going to do it. And you can adjust everything on here. That's quite easy to do. And you can also use the uh, nudge palette. So as a default, it's not normally up here, but you go to your cog over here come down to the nudge palette and you see it brings up these six buttons and they will all manipulate it in some way so I find it useful when you want to make small little changes of it but for the purpose of this video I'll set it to 1.8 so we can see what each one does And you can also just use the arrows on your keyboard left and right just to move it to a selection that you want. So another feature of the range tool is if you select a range on the track that you want and you see you get the hand there, um, if you click on the range now you can literally move the audio wherever you want, whatever you've ranged. And last but not least, you can delete pieces of audio uh, with the range tool by just literally highlighting it and then just pressing delete on your keyboard. And that'll just take it out. So there's some more advanced features with the range tool and I'm hoping to do a second video on going into depth, a little bit more into depth of some of the things you can do. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's much appreciated. I hope you're well wherever you are and I'll see you again for the next one. Thank you.